Welcome Virgo, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Seed Oracle, also Divine Directions and Animal Tarot Cards. Okay, so let's have a look here. Virgo, one card for Virgo please. From That was like not right. The Starseed Oracle deck, Virgo. One card for Virgo. There we are. There we are. The Courageous Peony. I don't know what Peony is. But anyway, multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Okay, we are going to look at that at the end. But let me get the thing ready. The book. The Courageous Peony. Peony. What is Peony? Who knows? I'll have a look after. Um, okay. Hmm. It's not coming up. Here it is. Okay, so I just flipped it and then there it was. So that was good. Okay, there you go. Tell me more about this, please. Multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. So this is you, right? Lots of layers to you. Lots of layers indeed. One more. One more card for Virgo. And we'll... Yeah, okay, sweet. Okay, I kind of feel a little bit scattered here, Virgo. So I'm wondering if this is what it is like for you right now. Okay, so we have holiday, we have career, I'm sorry, holiday, career, and trust. Okay, so let's have a look. Holiday, first off, it's time to go on that holiday that you have been dreaming about. Live life. You need a break. Clearly, Virgo. Even if just from this feeling of like everything's in a tiz, right? And, and that may even just clear your, your energy, clear um, what it is that you need to clear in order to start afresh. Tell me more about holiday for Virgo, please. Well, anything else? Okay. Okay, so... I've got two cards I can see here. We've got the King of Autumn. Look at this. This is the thing, okay? I think that some of you are getting so bogged down and you can't see clearly what is to come for you or what's actually in the making, okay? But with this King of Autumn here, everything's going to be fine. You actually don't need to worry. And the worry um, could potentially manifest things that you don't want to manifest in your life. So it's really important for you to take a break, okay, so that you can actually let go of the reins for a while and just be you, yeah? And reassess, reassess what is going on in your life, what you want out of your life and what you want that to look like, okay? We have the lovers. Oh, maybe this is a chance for you to reconnect with your partner or reconnect with someone who you have um, known before. It, it's also a chance for you to reconnect with yourself, yeah? And for you to really come into your heart space and work out what it is that you truly want in your life. You know, what is important? We have the world. There's an ending here. There's an ending, ending to a massive cycle in your life. Okay, and where is there, where there is an ending, Virgo, there is a beginning, right? So this could be the beginning of a new relationship for you, you know, and, and the renewal of an existing relationship, right? Refreshing that for yourself. Okay, what else do we have here? The Prince of Summer. See, this, is, this has got this romantic feeling going on. Very romantic. This is sitting on top of the world here as well. 
right? So there could be someone coming along that's going to sweep you off your feet. Or, yeah, this is about the solid foundation of everything, the building a secure life for yourself, okay? Potentially with someone who you adore, who you love, if you've met them or not. This is this is is actually really really nice here, Virgo. I'm trying to get around it so it's not just about romance because that's not the case for everybody. But you know, sometimes it's okay to, okay to have that hope and that that you know that vision of of what that looks like. And this is absolutely beautiful. This is gorgeous. I I adore this for you actually. And I think you do deserve it, right? And this is the thing, I suppose, about letting yourself be seen, right? This is about you stepping into the world authentically so that people can truly see who you are because you don't know who's going to fall in love with you, right? You don't know who you're going to meet. The next card we have here is career. It's time to add extra energy to your career area. Maybe try something new yeah so maybe it's a break from the career that you have and doing something else something that's more in touch with your heart right so let's have a look here tell me more about career for Virgo please maybe there's talents that are being unexplored or or not expressed Tell me more about career for Virgo, please. Wow. This is a pretty big change in your life right now here. Okay, so that's that. I'll get these in order here. I haven't finished with these. I'm sure I liked how those two came out. I'm going to put them back. And see what else comes out here. Okay, that's it for those. Okay, so let's have a look here. We have the Emperor. Okay, this is about you needing to get everything sorted. Okay, sorting everything out, um, even if it's just in your mind, so that you're clear on what it is that needs to happen. Okay, particularly in your career. Okay, tying up loose ends, getting everything um, into categories if you need to. Do that um, even in your home. You know, this could be you starting a new career and needing to get everything sorted at home before you embark upon that new journey. Okay, we have the Ace of Summer. We can't come away from this romance thing, man. <laughs> this could be someone that you, um, you work with. Uh, this could be someone that you're going to meet at work. You know, um, this could be the beginning of a new career, which leads you into a whole new life. Okay, but this could be actually also, I want to say, starting a career that you fall in love with. Your passion, your absolute passion, right? Um, so I want to say about this too, especially with this coming up with the emperor here, is to make sure that you are um, on track with what it is that you're giving to yourself, because what it is that you give to yourself, you will attract in another. So make sure that's completely and purely healthy, emotionally, physically, mentally, okay? Um, because that's it, the type of partner that, you know, would be appealing. Um, yeah, just make sure that everything's above board for yourself and not hoping that someone will come along and fix all that up for you. You need to do it for yourself first because what you will in turn meet is someone who needs all of that fixing for them too, okay? Um, so yeah, we have the star here. Wow, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This is about everything flowing the way it needs to be flowing, okay? Taking the leap into um, this this river of life that is beginning to flow for you okay and it feels like it's at the it's beginning stages uh, but it is flowing so this is not resisting it 
okay, because um, this is a pretty massive change going on here, Virgo. So sometimes it can be easy to be like, oh, I don't know about that, you know, um, especially if it's to do on the romantic side and you're not really a romantic you know, um, but you know, we are all deserving of some love in our life and some some nurturing and some kindness and some caring, you know, so make sure that you're giving that to yourself so that you receive the same back. Okay. We've got the so five of springs uh, five of spring here. Okay, this could be about you butting heads with somebody, particularly at work. Okay, this could even be a reason why you move on in your career okay um so i want to say about this is um it's important not to hold on to anything to let go what you need to let go of okay try not to be stubborn um and let this this new beginning transpire for you some of you may be staying in a career because you know that there will be people who will be happy to see the back of you but you need to work out here, Virgo, is it really doing you any service by staying in something that is not healthy for you? Okay. Really, be honest with yourself about that. I just want to see if there's anything else for career. Yeah, here we go. You see, this is this learning, okay, stepping out of your comfort zone and learning something new in order to embark upon this new journey because you have the intelligence, you, you know, you have the ability and um, and I think, you know, this could be something that you even do before you change careers. Or maybe you have been doing that. But really look into and do your research as to what direction you want to go in here. We have the three of winter. Yeah, see, there's definitely been some sort of um, issue in your life, whether it's been romantically or at work, where you've been hurt by certain things that have happened or certain and and or certain circumstances okay but again I do want to say don't be stubborn because you know and and also try not to drink the poison that you want to feed to somebody else you know if you want to um, believe negative things about somebody or speak negatively about someone the only one drinking that poison is yourself it's not actually affecting the other person okay so trust, trust in your intuition and what you are feeling, sensing, seeing or experiencing. And I feel like this is particularly important when you're looking at the career path that you want to choose. Okay. Um, and trusting, trusting in others so that you can open up to receive the love that you do deserve here, Virgo. Okay, let me just pick this card up that went flying. Okay, so yes, this is very interesting. We've got the three of spring here and we have the two of autumn. So there's a decision that you're in the throes of making, which may feel very confusing and you don't know well, what, what path to take. Okay, um, it's important for you to take stock. Take stock of where you've been, what you've accomplished, what you've done in order for you to move forward. What I want to say about this decision here is to sit with each decision, with each option, okay? Could be more than two, could be three, four, five, whatever, okay? Sit with each one and feel it out. Try to come out of the head here and into the heart and see how it feels for you and what feels Um sort of more natural, more at home for you, okay? And and when you make that decision, you will be, have success, okay? Because this is going to be something that you will be recognized for, all right? And the hard work that you put in, even quite early on, you will begin to see the results. And it doesn't mean there aren't going to be hard times during the growth of what it is that you are um actually harvesting or planting and working on but I can tell you now 
that it's going to be worth it, okay? We have the Queen of Winter here, okay? Everything that you have been through, everything has led you to this point. This is about you standing in your truth and owning it, okay? So this is about you standing in your confidence here, Virgo, and going, I know exactly what I'm about, and I'm going to do this unapologetically and move forward. Even if you're a bit scared, even if you're petrified, move forward with confidence, with power, with the internal power that you possess. Knowing that you, 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 you have this unique nature, right? Let yourself be seen. And the last card here is the dreamer. Take the leap of faith. Okay, don't hold yourself back because you will regret it if you do. Don't hold yourself back. Follow the dream that you have. Even if everyone's telling you that's bizarre, why would you do that? Follow it. If it's in your heart, Virgo, do it. Okay, so let's read The Courageous Peony. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but anyway. Right, here we go. Multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Flowers don't open and close according to who walks by. They embrace all of what they are and show it to the world around them. The peony doesn't try to compete with the cherry blossom and the cherry blossom doesn't try to compete with the tulip. They own what they are and trust the timing of their true nature. You're being called to do the same. <laughs> it's time to open yourself up to being seen. Time to share your incredible multifaceted true nature with the world around you to uncover and reveal your soul's greatest gifts without wavering, to own your uniqueness without apology. There's a flower on this planet that holds the same qualities that your soul is readying itself to express. Let it inform you. You may have been taught that it's safer to keep your light hidden and your voice small, to hide behind the bushes instead of growing tall. The courageous peony, peony is here to remind you that it is safe to embody all of who you truly are. It's safe to share your voice and let yourself be seen. At first, you may feel uncomfortable and you may be afraid of what others think. But with each passing day, it does become easier. Little by little, you realise that it draws in those who are meant for you and experiences you've been longing for arrive at your feet. Okay, so the soul inquiry for you, the star seed, is how are you being called to allow yourself to be more visible and seen in the world? Okay, Virgo, I am going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.